Southern Baffin Island is host to a sequence of gneiss, marble, and calcilicate rocks, which were metamorphosed during the Trans-Hudson orogeny about 1.8 billion years ago. An orogeny is the process of mountain building that's the result of crumpling of continental crust by colliding tectonic plates. The metamorphic rocks in southern Baffin Island were first metamorphosed at about 800 degrees Celsius in temperature and 8 kilobars in pressure, followed by a retrograde metamorphic event at 720 degrees Celsius and 6 kilobars. The area contains occurrences of sapphire, spinel, and lapis lazuli. I visited multiple gem mineral occurrences in Baffin Island to collect samples for scientific research and my goal was to determine the origin of these gemstones on Baffin Island. The first site we visited was a 200 km boat ride on the Hudson Strait. Over land, the temperature in southern Baffin Island in summer was about 10 to 20 degrees Celsius on a nice day, but over water it felt like minus 10 degrees and it was even worse when there was a lot of fog. We went through a number of kilometer scale patches of fog that were so thick we couldn't see past 30 feet. But in calm areas we could see a lot of wildlife like harbor seals, ring seals, bearded seals, a variety of birds and even jellyfish. I'm here at the McDonald Islands Spinel locality and uh, I've been collecting some pretty decent dark purple spinels. Here's some examples. And uh, there's some in situ right here, which are pretty big. But they are not bigger than the one that I just found, which is a little damaged, but overall pretty good on Matrix. Pretty respectable. After visiting the Spinel Occurrence, we returned to the Kimrut area and went up the Sopa River to a Spinel Occurrence which is right beside the Lapis Lazuli locality. And this locality is in a territorial park. The environment there is very sensitive and very unique, so it's not open to collecting, but I did take some footage of the Lapis Lazuli to show just what an exceptional site it is. The Lapis Lazuli is considered a meta-evaporite, which is a, essentially a metamorphosed evaporite rock or a rock that contained salts formed by evaporation of water, and in this case, evaporation of seawater in a marine shelf environment where you typically get limestone, which, when metamorphosed, forms marble, which is the host for the lepis lazuli at this locality. And the lepis lazuli is not rich enough to be a gem quality, like the material from Afghanistan or other areas in the world, but it is really nice and it's actually a quite significant occurrence. 